outfit, yeah, I'm in the booth. The booth. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Which I need some proof. Intro. Deucing. Watch my two videos, man. Racks a two week. Racks a week. Challenge. Yeah. Ronnie Speed. Yeah, Ronnie Speed. Ronnie Speed. When I drive, I make video. And then, you know, where you were just showing all your 2500, 2500. I said, okay. All right. I said, I can get with that. Introducing the two racks a week challenge. And also for this two racks a week winners link up, it will be a little bit different. I'm gonna have a panel. Of course, I'm gonna have a panel and I'm gonna have a space for the new hustlers out there who have not made $2,000 in a week yet. And, are want, and you know, they wanna level up. You know, they wanna get their game up, make $2,000. You know, I'll be sending an invite to, uh, you know, you can come along, join the panel, you know, just sit in the waiting room. Then after the interview is over, I will give you an opportunity to ask the winner some questions, man. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have about 10 contestants on there who are just gonna sit in the waiting room and be able to ask them some questions. And keep in mind, these are people who have not made two thousand dollars if this is something that you would be interested in go to the description click on the very first link and uh, fill out the questionnaire man so 10 contestants that's right only 10 so um if this is something you'd be interested in just pause the video right now before we even get going so you don't forget and come back What's going on? Ronnie Speed coming back. Man, you know what time it is, man. Another two racks a week. Challenge winner. Let's get it. So here we have Tyler. So Tyler, tell them a little bit about yourself, what market you're driving in, how old you are, and how long you've been uh, doing ride share. Uh, I, currently, I drive for Lyft right now. I'm 25 years old driving in the New Orleans area. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. Okay, okay. So uh, how long you been driving? Uh, I've been doing the ride share for two and a half months now. Oh, that's, damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, how did, like, what made you uh, sign up to to drive? Um, a friend of mine, he actually does this on the side and he was kind of telling me about the money he was making and stuff. And it's like, man, it's easy work. You know, all you got to do is drive. And I love driving. So I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and give it a try. Right, right, right. And is your friend that, did, did he ever make $2,000 in a week? Nah, of course not. Of course He's not. They quit his day job now and strictly drive. Okay. So, so your friend, he, he told you about it. So right. you signed on and you made more than him. <laughs> and now he's like, man, you, I, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm glad I put you on, but now I got to get on. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, that's cool. Well, since this, since this is the two racks a week uh, challenge. So tell the audience exactly how many hours you had to do and um, how much money did you make exactly? Now on that week, we had a pretty good week. There was a... Uh, a lot of events in town and everything, but I drove for 56 hours that week, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a lot of 12s. In this city, it pretty much runs overnight. It's a lot of money to be made during the day, but I'm more of a nighttime driver. Okay. So it's just a lot of nightlife for me, pretty much. Okay. And uh, how much money did you make? I believe it was 2,100 and some change, 2,102, something like that. Not too shabby. You already know what time it is, man. Not too shabby. Goddamn right. So you new to the game. You've been driving, you said, what, a couple months? A couple months, a couple months. A couple months now. Your friend put you on. You made more than your friend. Um, how exactly did you find out about the two racks a week challenge or uh, or my content? Uh, I just kind of, you know, went into YouTube and searched the normal stuff everyone's searching. Can you still make a living off a ride share in 2020, 2021? Mm -hmm. Started watching a couple of people, but whenever I seen your video, you were the only person consistently doing this. And when I consistently, I've seen videos from a lot of people 
they just want to give you the bad, but you give the the full credit, you know. Yeah. Shit. Well, well, shit. Well, thanks for watching, man. And that's what it's about, man. It's a lot of bad information out there. You know, a lot of people who really haven't tried, you know, to make two thousand dollars or just even right. like set, you know, minor goals. Man. Right. So like that's that's what this is about, man. You know, causing you know more awareness and uh, you know, more recognition to some of the people who are confused, don't know where to start, and uh, who live in different markets. So, okay, you down there in the New Orleans area, you like the nightlife. So, uh, tell us someone like the uh, like your strategy, like your structure. How did how did you go about making two thousand dollars in that specific week? You just you gotta have that discipline to to stay online. So we have times where it's very busy, where you can't even, you know, stop and use the bathroom. You're running right, for right. straight. But they also have that point in time for like three hours or so where you might only get a ride or two. But you you got to stop turning it off at these points. And I find that's where a lot of people mess up in my area is they go from constantly riding, constantly riding to where you're not getting a ride you know, three rides an hour or so, and they shut it off. Mm-hmm. Don't turn it off. You got to stay on. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to make money out here. You know, if you're not online, you're not going to get a ride. Right. Man, that's, bro, that's a good way to look at it, man. Because, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, well, it's slow. So I went home. Even, you know, myself, like uh, a few years ago, I was doing the same thing. And, um, you know, pushing through it and fighting through it and staying online, you know, a lot of it, you know, that that's that's like the mindset that it takes the attitude the disciplines like you know you know so you definitely have to you know do that so like uh prior to finding my content seeing the two racks a week what was your highest week uh since then man to be completely honest it has been low okay like first started i i kind of just set my goal at making 100 a day Mm -hmm. and my very first day you know I made like 80 90 bucks I was happy with that I went home but then I was like you know what I feel like I could do more mm-hmm. so I started setting my goal I set it for a thousand a week and I came close a couple of weeks I was at like 850 900 but my hours were low um, my hours were like 30 hours and it's like yeah yeah I can definitely do more you know right. if you're sitting here doing a normal day-to-day job you know you work 40 hours a week you should yep. be putting 40 hours a week on that clock exactly exactly and that yep and that's what i find interesting um you know this is a little different from your normal job because you have to be self-reliant you have to you know teach yourself certain uh disciplines and right what i find interesting is you know people who transition to doing rise share is um they end up working less <laughs> then they try yeah. to you know play the blame game and make excuses so you know, you figured out like, damn, man, like, you know, I could do better. I could try harder. So you went from uh, 30 hours and you said like, it took, what, like 54, 56 hours to make $2,000? Yeah. So- and that was also, we had a lot of bonuses in that week. I had, um, I think it was like 112 rides to complete. And the app was giving me like a bonus of 400. Mm-hmm. Regardless, I mean, if I wouldn't have been out there, I wouldn't have got that type of money, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fact. So once you hit your first two thousand dollar week, man, how did that feel? Man, that was that was great. And it's like now you can keep doing it. Yeah. If you know it's there, once you see it, the proof is there, it's it's no reason to stop, you know. Don't get me wrong, I, I've come close again, mm-hmm. but I was right at like nineteen. So I didn't want to try to share that one. But no, that's no, a it's, bro, it's all good. But like once you do it, like you said, once you do it once, it is like you know, I think that's what a lot of people um, have to consider or are unaware of. It's like they don't know, you know, mm-hmm. what it could be done until they actually try. And once they try, like, damn, 18, 1900, or even 2000. And it's like now you know that you were capable of making that amount. So even if you fall short, you know, once or twice, but you went from making what, eight, 900 to a thousand dollars, now you make it 19, 1800. 2000 right. and you only you know you a beginner so over time you're gonna learn the market more uh you're gonna get more comfortable and you're gonna make shit you're gonna make more money and i see right. that you're driving full-time right yeah i'm driving full-time now um 
And I, I guess that's one of my things too. One of my little strategies is I kind of pay attention to the app. I don't drive on two different apps. I notice a lot of people drive either Uber or Lyft. I'm strictly a Lyft driver. Okay. So I pay attention to my app. I've kind of figured out how my market works, kind of learned when are busy times and little stuff like that kind of is what helps you get those goals, you know? Yep. Yeah, Every, for sure. I'd say for sure. Okay, cool, man. See? And uh, shit, why do you think people don't make $2,000? Like, what, like, what would you say? I mean, honest opinion, they yeah, don't want it. Yeah, yeah, Don't sugarcoat. No, keep it real. They don't want it. Yeah. It's there. And that's another thing with our city, man, is so many people are looking for rides you can constantly if you wanted to drive 18 hour days you can drive 18 hour days and be busy you just got to be out there right right now now let's let, let's go back to uh your friend you know he put you he put you on and you know you showed him like yeah man look what i just made two thousand dollars i right. know i know he may not say this but i know a little part of him was kind of jealous that he put you on. Oh, yeah. He ended up making more than he did. So talk- Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So, so how did you feel once you, like, you know, you the newbie then, you know, you find my content, you like, now you fired up, you made $2,000, you showed him. How did that feel just to show him, like, ah, I made more than you? <laughs> Man, that, that was a great feeling because it's, yeah. You don't want to feel like you're, you know, you're shitting on anybody, yeah, but you right, all, right, right. You're like, man, look, this is you put me on and I know the numbers you're making versus the numbers I'm making. You can do this too. Yeah. And th- and that's what it's about. Cause you're right. It's, it's not about shit, but um, it's good to have like some type of friendly competition, especially like, you know, with your bro, then like you showed him like, damn, he made $2,000. So now that's kind of like, you know, a kick in the ass for him. It's like, okay, let me, let me get on. Cause I can't, you know, be a second to him. I, I showed him, you know, I showed him the ropes and now he, now he out doing me. So now he probably like trying to turn up his game and uh become a little bit more structured and disciplined. But you know, that that's the cool thing about it, you know, because I have a roommate, you know, a good friend of mine, he drives as well. And right. uh, driving becomes a lot more enjoyable uh once you have like a, a buddy of yours doing it. Cause you know, yeah. y'all could text like, yeah, where you at? I'm right here. Let's link up for lunch. Then y'all yep. share stats. <laughs> like, uh wh- how much you at for today? I'm at this. It's like, okay, okay, I'm at this. And y'all damn near like around the same amount. And um, exactly. can, you know, keep each other accountable and keep each other going. So, you know, that's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I find that's pretty much the best way to go about it nowadays because they got a lot of people out there competing with their friends for the wrong reasons, you know, competing about who's got what. When we're in competition about who can make the most. And I find that's petition to be in right right so what's so what's your why man like you know what made you want to do this full time and you know make two thousand dollars like like what what keeps you going what really keeps me going is my seventh month my seven month old okay uh, you know i gotta provide for them and my family mm-hmm. and at the same time I, I worked in a bunch of these out here the only I can't say the only good jobs, but most of the good jobs are like plant or refinery or on the river. And that's just not the type of stuff that I was into anymore. Right, right. Once I got into this driving and realized I can come home, you know, daily, come home whenever I feel pretty much, you know, having a newborn and everything, there's stuff that you you can't always be going 24 seven, you know, you got to come home and give them things. They need medicine. They need attention. They need everything, you know? Right. Gives this gives me that freedom to knock off at five o'clock when it's traffic time and come spend time with the baby, you know, come spend time with the wife, and it just gives me freedom pretty much. I don't have to sit here and oh, here's my phone call at six in the morning. I got to go to work. No, I wake up in the morning, do what I feel like doing. I look at the app. Time to go make money. Right. Yeah. You're right, man. And that's one like one of the things I, I really enjoyed about, you know, driving Uber and Lyft when I first started, just the, the freedom, man. Like nothing, man, it's nothing that's like, that gives you that feeling, man. It's priceless. 
you know, just being in control of your own time, doing what you want to do, then, you know, you make some money, then you go home, get to see your family, you don't have to worry about lying or come up with some fancy excuse to try to get days off or, you know, you just, you ain't control your own time, man. And, you know, I think that's, that's one of the, the, the greatest benefits of this, um, of this service, you know? Definitely. And I mean, I try to encourage as many people to do it as possible because there's a lot of people out here that can definitely use this type of structure, you know? Right. Right. I, I, I agree, man. You know, hopefully people like see more of these videos and, you know, they get motivated to, you know, try to can take control of their life, man. Cause it's, it's, it's beyond just making $2,000, like, two thousand dollars it really just shows that individual in my opinion like what they're capable of doing right i'm just like you know just a muse i guess like here this is what you could do i did it bam now it's time for you to do it and once you do it you exactly. can share it and other people can do it but it, like i said it says more about you as a person you know you make it two thousand dollars you're like damn now that's for for most people they don't really understand like their true capabilities. Like, okay, right. I made two thousand dollars. Now what's next? Because now I could go above beyond making this, and now you know, oh. next they can start to do, you know, anything. Like, you know, that's one of the uh, key points about like you know readapting your mindset and you know setting goals and learning new like disciplines. And it's like it just keeps you know evolving after that, man. Right. Right. Yeah, so before we get up out of here, man, any any last, like, closing words, man? Any tips that you want to tell, like, the the people who are already driving or specifically, let, let's let's say the new drivers, the, the new drivers out here who just uh, about to, you know, like you, like, I'm thinking about, you know, trying, like, ride share and um, right. you know, I don't know what to do. Like, what would you tell them? If you're thinking about starting it or if you just want to give it a try, the best advice I can give you, Go run it for a day. Set you a little goal. Set it like 150. See if you can hit that goal. Once you hit it and you see how long it takes you to hit that, you're gonna realize, man, the the money's to the money is out here. It's very easily to be made. Minimum effort. You just gotta talk to people. People don't wanna talk, just let them be quiet, you know? Right. <laughs> right I find right. that's the easiest, that's another key play to this is. You know, keeping your customers happy. That's how you get them tips rolling in. If they don't want to speak, don't speak. I find a lot of people trying to force conversations out here. Yep. And, yep. Yep. I mean, find once you find out your market and you found it, stick with it. Once you hit that 2K a week, don't give up because you can make 2K a week every week. Yeah, you, know? you really can, man. It's, it's up to you, man. It's all about choices and, you know, planning and, um, be like consistency man consistency yeah that's what it's really about man you know the world is your oyster you know and another thing i would like to say is because people you know a lot of people use youtube as a search engine so they come across other drivers if the driver is like negative or they don't have the uh results that you're looking for you know find somebody else i mean of course i want it to be me but if you don't want to watch me, that's fine. You know, find somebody who got like the same mindset, the same things that you're looking for. And that's what it's really about because all these people that's complaining and are um, unhappy, you know, you really can't learn much from them besides, you know, be frustrated and everything else. Find somebody who's positive, who's getting the results that you want. And, um, you know, reach out. If they don't reach out, you can always reach out to me. I'll, I'll pretty much get back to pretty much everybody who, who hits me up. And, um, you know, should just go after it, you know, because a lot of people have never tried. That's the thing. Don't, haven't even tried. Because, yeah, maybe you don't know. Okay, I'll give you the benefit of doubt or people that's watching it. Maybe I will give you the benefit of doubt because you don't know what's possible. But now you see me do it and you see people in other states do it. So now mm -hmm. the decision and the choice is yours. Are you going to try? Are you gonna make excuses or roll over? The choice is yours, cause we gonna be out here getting it. So you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, exactly, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it on that note, man. Thank you again, Tyler, for you know joining uh, this call. 
here we Appreciate have it. another two racks a week winner in the New Orleans area, man. He about to go drink him a hand grenade right now. <laughs> I don't drink, man. I don't drink. <laughs> All right, man. Well, so, well, until next time, see you guys next week. I'll look back. Peace. Speed. Peace. Yeah, Ronnie Speed. Ronnie Speed. 60 hours. Two racks a week. Ronnie Speed. Yeah, Ronnie Speed. When I drive.